This is Witchbase News for Friday the 4th of October 2024. I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous News this week there's a fantastic guide detailing 200 years of azimuth and salvation lore. Tickets for next years pitcon burr pit event are now on sale. Operation Ida brings Shinrata Desra back to the land of the living and more. If you enjoy our videos consider subscribing to the channel and remember to ding the little bell to make sure you see all our content and community posts and if you'd like to help support the channel links to our Patreon and everything else are in the description below. Every year at this time of the year the regular weekly stellar screenshots competition adopts a seasonal twist and in honour of Halloween becomes stellar screenshots instead. During the month of October for producing one of Frontiers highlighted screenshots you can win the malevolent ghast paint job for the Asp Explorer that you can see on screen now. Post your creepiest screenshot from the game to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram or the official screenshots forum thread and tag it with hashtag stellar screenshots and you could be in with a chance. Ooh, spooky. How am I doing Rini? Pretty scary eh? Hello? <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> in September 2023 a hundred elite dangerous commanders from around the world gathered at the Nottingham Belfry Hotel in the UK for the Burr Pits first ever convention. Next year on Saturday the 26th of April 2025 Rini and I will be hosting it again and tickets for the event have just gone on general release. Pitcon is a day long celebration of all things Elite Dangerous as well as gaming in general featuring panels and presentations, retro gaming consoles, tabletop RPG sessions, guests from Frontier Developments as well as live editions of Galnet News Digest and something called checks notes oh yes uh, here it is plus 11 carry the two yep which space news. There's also a chance to, to get hands on with and meet the developers of Starship Simulator. There's also a bunch of other cool stuff lined up for the day so keep an eye on our channel and our social feeds for future announcements. The whole day is topped off with a charity raffle in aid of special effect featuring prizes from our partners and supporters including VKB and Noble Chairs. The day finishes with a fantastic music concert featuring both Commander Tokoso and Commander Alzo playing live on stage. And for anyone that remembers last year we have to add in the disclaimer that we will of course do everything in our power to prevent LCU no fall like one from singing again but ultimately we cannot accept responsibility for any injuries that result. It is destined to be one corker of a weekend and we would love to see you there. Tickets are available right now and you'll find a link to the Pitcon 2025 website and a link to the tickets in the description below this video. The sudden and mostly unexpected attack on the home of the Pilots Federation Shinrata Desra by the murderous Marigold Thargoids left a total of 6 orbital and surface starports and one engineering base offline last week and unavailable for use. This week due to a colossal community effort all those starports are now back online and 100% operational again. Anyone who hauled the appropriate goods to the stations regardless of how small their contribution can take some credit for that success but it has to be acknowledged that the vast overwhelming contribution to that work came from two player organisations. Anyone who spent any time at all around Thargoid damage and repair in this game over the last several years will need no introduction whatsoever to the station repair and haulage specialist team at Operation Ida who over the course of the repairs had 24 volunteers landing a staggering total of 740 times across 4 days and 22 hours. 
In total, Operation Ida, who track their input into this stuff diligently, logged a total of 562,854 of the 573,750 tonnes required across the 7 locations. Also spending billions in credits and using 17% of the galaxy's entire supply of meta alloys in the effort. That'll no doubt please the violence vegetables no end to here. In total Ida logged 796 transactions into the 7 damaged starports. A shout out must also go to the miners corporation who did what they do best for the effort and provided 22,635 tonnes of praesodinium which is 146% times the publicly viewable supply of the stuff in the entire galaxy. A gargantuan effort by anyone involved. Huge congratulations on a success well earned whether you flew for Ida, the Miners Corporation or just independently. The galactic community owes you a debt of gratitude. As always you'll find a link to all of this in the description below this video. For the last 2 years humanity has been fighting off an invasion by our furiously territorial galactic neighbours the Thargoids. Roughly 2.5 years ago 8 bubble bound spirals of light travelled at superluminal speeds from roughly the area of the Col 70 sector. The spirals came to be known as Stargoids and upon arriving on the fringes of the bubble they deployed huge caustic protective clouds around themselves. Upon gaining access to the clouds it was discovered that the Stargoids were in fact huge Thargoid Titan motherships and they were the source of the invasion that has since decimated hundreds of star systems. The story of what caused the Stargoid invasions and why they're so very angry at us as a species has been told across multiple Galnet news articles and in-game events and discoveries and it goes back much further than the 2.5 years since the discovery of the Stargoids. Keeping track of all those threads and how they all interweave with each other is no small task and you'd be forgiven especially if you're relatively new to the game for not really knowing that any of this existed before the neighbours suddenly started getting rowdy. Into the void in your game lore knowledge then steps Commanders Beetlejude and Wotherspoon of Galnet News Digest who have created the definitive video guide to what is now called the Azimuth Saga covering 200 years of contact with the Thargoids and all the events that have led us to the place we're at now. The stonker of a video is an hour long and is broken up into useful and meaningful chapter headings that can be easily skipped to meaning you can catch up on one specific bit of missing knowledge or watch the whole thing in easy bite size installments. As well as narration by Beetlejude and Wotherspoon the video essay is punctuated by some pertinent voice recordings gathered from sites within the game that you can still visit and gather for yourself as well as footage from the relevant sites and it tells the entire story of Azimuth Biotech, the character known as Salvation and the resultant invasion of the Thargoids that we are now coming to the end of. You'll find the complete Azimuth Saga 200 years of Thargoid history linked in the description below this video and it comes highly recommended. Will you be attending PitCon next year? Were you involved in the repair of the stations in Shinrata or will you be catching up on your Azimuth Saga knowledge before the last Titan falls? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. Hey. <laughs>